1971 Americans have observed Memorial Day to honor the soldiers that have died while serving in the U.S. military. Many people today are going out to national cemeteries to pay their respects to those heroes. News Channel 8's Annie Mapp joins us now live at the Bay Pines National Cemetery that's in Pinellas County. Annie, one of the many ceremonies here in our area that was held there today. Jennifer, correct. There are more than 40,000 burial sites here at the Bay Pines National Cemetery. Not only were those lives lost remembered today, but the families they left behind were also honored. Evelyn Brady is a Gold Star mother. Her son, Naval Air Crewman Third Class Mohammed Mohadam, died in December of 2019. He was just 19 years old. Heartbreaking. Just heartbreaking. No, no, no parent wants to wants to receive that knock on the door. The FBI reports a member of the Royal Saudi Air Force studying at a military base in Pensacola shot and killed Hatem and two other sailors in an act of terrorism. Less than seven months, about, about seven months. He joined in July and he lost his life in December of 2019. Connections with Gold Star families nationwide and remembrance ceremonies are what keep Brady going. To find that, that bond, to be around people who knew what I was going through. She joined several other Gold Star families Monday at the Bay Pines National Cemetery. They were handed flowers for their fallen loved ones and got to hear words of encouragement from different speakers. Once you receive that flag, the whole meaning of Memorial Day changes. It's, it's about honoring those who, it's about honoring those who have um, died for our country, protecting our freedoms. Now at 530, I'll introduce you to another Gold Star family that was honored here at the ceremony, and I'll tell you how they cope with the loss of their loved one. Reporting live in Pinellas County, Annie Mapp, 8 on your side.